I think the impact on realtors will be very slim. That the most realtors tell me, and I've taught the what brokerages and realtors need to know about agency maybe over 50 times. And I ask the same question. How are people, when you have two realtors in the same office, how do you practice limited dual agency? And every realtor has always told me, I keep the confidence of my client, I treat my client as a sole client, and I let Bob across the office worry about his client. So on that matter, that is exactly what this new system is designed to do. So I would be saying to those realtors, don't change anything you've been doing for the last 15 years, continue to operate in the manner you have, and I will fix the documentation so it reflects what you're doing. For managing brokers, there may be slightly more. Again, I don't think it's going to be a large impact on, on office practice, but there will have to be some policies put in place dealing with information barriers, how, we, how, how brokerages make sure that inf confidential information learned by one realtor somehow doesn't get out uh, to other realtors within the office who might be acting for other people. Ironically, I think it's much easier to have that type of information barrier today than it was 15 years ago when we first started limited dual agency. We don't have common fax machines anymore. Uh, if you think back in the old days, you had a bullpen. Everybody talked to everybody else. Uh, th there was a central fax machine where offers came in and anybody could pick them up. Nowadays, uh, most of that has changed. Most people deal directly with the realtor. They have their own devices. They're sending them to secure locations. And the concept of information, protection of information, has really been in place uh, through brokerages for the last oh, five or six years with the introduction of privacy legislation. So these are things that I think brokerages are already well along that line, so I don't anticipate that's going to be a, a, a significant problem. Uh, managing brokers obviously will have questions you know, that, that will come up from time to time, and as the system evolves, uh, we will be able to deal with them. But I think that for managing brokers, their role of supervision won't change. Uh, the role of the brokerage uh, as, as collecting deposits, being responsible under the legislation, none of that is going to change. It's all going to remain the same as it was prior to the introduction of designated agency.